What's up YouTube, Luke the Window Cleaner. I wanted to do a quick video on our residential estimates and scheduling and some of the software that we use for that. Um, this is free software. There's a lot of great softwares out there, uh, but some of them can be kind of pricey. So when you're first starting out, this is always a great, um, great option. So anyways, let's get right into it. We use Google Docs for tracking all of our uh, residential clientele and uh, also for tracking our, our estimates as well. Google Calendar is how we do all of our scheduling. So let's get into uh, to Google Docs first. So first, um, under blank here, you'll just start a new document and I would name all of your documents if you don't have any customers yet, new customer. So when a new customer calls, open that up. You're going to want to uh, go ahead and name it and name the date that you gave them the estimate. Oh, and I would also type in front of it that this is a estimate. All right, so Brad Pittman, whatever, all of his contact information, it's very important to get the email address. So if you wanna do any email campaigning later on, you'll have their email address there. Window cleaning estimate, uh, interior and exterior is $1,000. We take 30% off for exterior only, so he's got $700 here for his exterior only estimate. Uh, other estimates was $120, and that was gutter cleaning. Now, we'll get to this segment right here in a second. Um, this is for when you actually perform the work. And then down here under comments and photos, let's say that Brad Pitt does not um, need uh, his garage windows cleaned. However you wanna word it. No clean garage windows, whatever. So, um, you could type in any kind of notes or anything you want uh, there and here, and then you can take a couple photos of the house. This has been really useful for us, uh, especially if the customers only have you, say, once every two years. Um, hopefully that's not the case, but say if they even want to schedule it out a couple months down the road, you have a reference here of what the house looks like. And I would take a couple pictures. Of course, this is not Brad Pitt's house, but I would take a couple pictures of the home. Uh, I'd get all four sides of the house or how many sides of the house there is and get all of the windows included in the photos and put that down here for yourself as a reference later on. So let's say Brad Pitt goes ahead and goes with the window cleaning. So he calls us and says, hey, I wanna schedule that for Monday, uh, September 26th at 8 a.m. Select here on your Google Calendar, create event, edit event, Brad Pitt. Um, Assuming you know how much time it's gonna take, let's say it's only gonna take you two and a half hours, put that down there. I uh, color code all of my residential work in red. You can enter the address here if you like. I don't do that because I have a GPS in the vehicle and we use that instead. I'm not gonna use my cell phone for it, but you can. Um, and then this is the great part here, add attachment. So click add attachment and it'll take you to your Google Drive. Add the estimate from Brad Pitt select and then there you go so and hit save so when it comes up on your calendar all you gotta do now is select brad pitt edit a fit and then it'll take you straight to your google docs if you prefer to do that way or you can always go to your docs but it's always there for you now let's say this is after you've cleaned the house okay so under work performed it was window cleaning uh number of stories to interior i'd say yes Exterior, yes. Team, two, two folks clean the house. Time of work, it actually took us an hour and a half. And price, it was 1000 nope, $1,050 because we upsold them on cleaning some lamps, whatever it may be. Okay, so this is where it comes uh, important on tracking some more of the information after, you, after you've worked for them. Make sure you put in, I would get rid of estimate now and just leave his name because now he's a customer. Put in the service date, and there you go. Now, um, the great thing for scheduling too is the next time he calls, we can adjust our time because we, we overshot it. It didn't take two hours, it took an hour and a half, so the next time I clean his home, I can schedule accordingly instead of trying to do guesswork. Um, so this is how we do our scheduling uh, for storefronts. 
this is we have a little bit of a different estimate process uh, for storefronts because we give so many of them. Uh, we don't track every single one quite like this. I have another video. I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, but I hope this helps. This is some free software. Uh, again, it's Google Docs and Google Calendar, and you can set it up this way to track all of your estimates and create a customer database along with scheduling for free. All right, hope this video helps.